How's it going here, future voters of Sean Gannon, future president of the United States of America? And we have my inflatable hot tub right here, and I'm gonna tell you what chemicals I use to keep this bad boy going all year round and make sure all the chemicals are nice. I got a few chemicals that I use here, and one secret one at the end, I didn't realize until after a month or so how important it was, and it's a pretty common item that you probably have in your house. So let's get after it. Full disclosure, all the products I'm talking about in this video are affiliate links. I'll put them in the description down below and uh, helps you with your own hot tub. You purchase those links, you kind of help us out here. So uh, thanks for doing that. Let's get on to the product. So the first thing we got here is the Spa Selections Brooming Tablets. They look like that and about four of them fil fit in the filter at a time. And I go about like two weeks uh, putting four in there at a time. So it's uh, pretty good to keep that. And um, yeah, not too, not too bad. Uh, this is what I go through the most. The second most common one I use here is the Spa Selections Non-Chlorine Shock Oxidizer. I do this when I just put fresh water in. I do that about twice a year, once in the spring, once in the fall. And so that is good to kind of shock the system, make sure everything, uh, any bacteria is cleaned out or dead. Let's say you don't put enough bromine for a while and it goes below the level it needs to be. You can always use this to kind of shock it to make sure everything is kind of uh, you know, killed and then you keep on going out. The next one here is the Foam Out by Spa Selections. Again, uh, that helps produce, uh, eliminate foam and stuff and suds. Um, I only use that occasionally, but it's a liquid. This one's a liquid, this one's a powder. Uh, I use it occasionally in there, but uh, not that often, to be honest, depends if I need it. Here we have uh, the clarifier. Again, sometimes you'll notice as you use a hot tub for a while that it's gonna start getting a little cloudy and it doesn't really look as nice. Now at nighttime, it's kind of hard to see if you don't have the lights on, but if you want to clarify it, this is helpful. But again, these two, actually these three, I've purchased a year ago and I'm like halfway through it. So you don't need these that often. One thing I also like to get now here is these test strips. I test it fairly regularly, pretty easy to work on. You put it in the water, yeah, follow the directions to see where things go and see where the level's out. The most important here um, is the, what's the first, the most important one, the top one. Uh, you just want to make sure you have the nice bromine levels that ensures that you have a lot of clean hot tubs. You don't any, get any bacteria. A lot of times mine's above three. It's like a five, or sometimes it's brought to 10. Uh, not the end of the world, to be honest. It might dry out your skin a little bit, but it's all right. The main one thing you wanna focus about here is the alkalinity, and that gets low quite often. As you put bromine tablets right there, you're gonna get a alkalinity that's gonna go down. And how do you fix that? That's another thing you wanna watch. So bromine, add more bromine, bring that up. And that's, but that causes the alkalinity to go down. And this is the secret product you've been waiting for. And the secret product that helps you here remove the alkalinity or raise it is good old baking soda. This one's from Food Line. I'll even put something in the description there from Amazon. But I just use regular baking soda in the house. And just kind of keep an eye on that. Toss a couple spoonfuls in there when needed and you're good to go. So baking soda, to be honest, baking soda and bromine tablets are the most used products they use with the test strips. These three little ones here in the middle, not so much, but good to have. Once you purchase one, you won't need it for a while. But you get a couple of those bromine tablets, you go through those kind of fast, and baking soda is always good to have. So there you got it. Well, I hope I entertained you enough on how I use my hot tub right there. And if I did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That helps us out here. And uh, if you have an idea, what's this gnat doing my way here? But if you have other questions about what I do with that hot tub, let me know in the comment section below. I'm looking about what videos I can make next and I need your input. So as always, this is Sean Gannon, future president of the United States of America, signing off.